So for the, the retirement package for MPs who are outgoing, uh, some few days ago you approved the, the, the report that was you know, put together by the presidency recommending a monument for the Article 71 holders. Uh, I mean, the, the salary levels obviously generated some concern among them, especially the, the backdating of the 10% increment for your salary. How do you respond? People think that you are, you are, you are simply taking too much. Maybe Ghanaians are justified by not being happy to be part, especially when we have uh, the level of uh, salary and also back in our uh, if we're looking at the economic situation in the country, I, I perfectly agree with the, uh, those who are against it. Uh, but you should also look at the, uh, what we go through as a person of uh, Those of our colleagues who are on the tiring, who are no longer coming, oh, who have to go back home uh, with a that they can read, uh, they can start to lie. Uh, if you look at the work of a, parl a parliamentarian, you notice that we spend all our livelihood. Whatever comes, you're waiving your salary, you spend it on your constituent. Right. Now, if you go back home now, nobody will employ you because they, they, they feel that you have reached a status in life where you are unemployable. And for those who do not have any profession, if you are not careful, you go back home and become proper. So yeah, I believe... We've heard, I mean, for example, can you tell us the, 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 the sum, the amount of money that well, the retiring MP is taking. Well, well, we have for example, how much are they giving you? I don't know. I have not seen the computation yet. Uh, I'm yet to find out how much because uh, we've taken some facilities of our car loan. The car loan should be completely deducted with the interest, and uh, I don't think it's anything to go home with. All right. I don't know whether you've located your new seating. Yes, I've moved forward a little bit. Uh, I've, I'm now on the yes, the sec, two, second seat after the front bench. All right. Thank you very much. Honestly, thank you very much. I'm Bedra, is member of parliament for Whole West, and uh, Mr. Dongo is uh, in member of parliament for Zebula. I want to say thank you. I wish you well in your first you know, uh, time in parliament. Okay. I hope that we'll see more of you. So, folks, we, 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 are, we are just building up to what is to come very soon. Uh, a while ago, the clerk of parliament was ushered into the chamber, and then the expectation is that uh, at five minutes into the new day, he will have a very unique role to play, and that is to preside over the election of the speaker, and then for the speaker to come in, and for the nomination for the first and the, sec and the, and the, and the second to, uh, to follow. So he's going to have that unique role as a presiding officer until we have a new speaker for the seventh parliament. So that's what we are all waiting for. And, and that is going to happen five minutes into the new day, and we are looking at the time, we are counting down, and very soon we'll take you to the chamber uh, to bring you footage of how, how it is looking like as new members and continuing members, uh, you know, uh, sit. Uh, yes, so as you can see, we have the former president, John, John, uh, John Rawlings, and the wife, Nana Kondra Jumar Rawlings, seated, waiting patiently for proceedings to start. Members of parliament, those continue, those who are coming in for the first time, uh, some have taken their seats. But uh, member of parliament for Abu Asu West, uh, Kwaku Kwatem, uh, I don't know whether you've been there to locate where you'll be sitting. Yes, I have. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank and you then, so uh, much. How ready are you to function uh, on the majority side? Well, we, we are ready to do the work of the majority. We've been in the House for, at least speaking for myself, for four years. We know now how the House works. We understand the role of the majority. And Ghanaians have expressed great confidence in us as a political party, the optimism out there that we will deliver is high, and we're confident that we will deliver on, on the commitments we have made to the people of this country. Mm. And those For of us, all list of promises you've made to Ghanaians. We will, we will, and we will be open and sincere with Ghanaians and the majority side, and I'm confident we will be supported by the minority side would join us in that enterprise to deliver to the people of this country the reasons uh, that, that motivated the kind of voting we, we have seen in this election. All right, so, so after this is done with, and we have a new president in Nana Adedanko Akufuado and Dr. Mama Dubaomiya, uh, Parliament will come back. I'm sure that one of the key things that we put in before the House, uh, maybe for the House to consider the nominees for ministerial positions. We've been sure. told that you are heading to the finance minister as a deputy minister. Well, I'll be happy to serve in that capacity if the president 
uh, considers that 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 is helpful. Uh, we are waiting. It is the it's for the president to make uh, those decisions. Mm. If I'm called upon to serve in any capacity, I'm happy to do that. In the end, the important thing is that collectively, as a, as a party, the people of Ghana expect a lot from us. And I'm happy to play, to play any role that would help us deliver that to the people of Ghana. All right, so we know that Parliament approved uh, uh, the estimates for the first quarter of 2017. So how soon would our government present, put before the House a complete budget for covering the period 2017? And what kind of budget are we to expect? Well, to start with, the estimate that, that uh, Parliament gave approval uh, for was up to March. So it means in the course of, at the latest, in the course of March, we should bring the full budget for 2017. Mm. And so I think the public can expect uh, the 2017